What's up everyone? This is Ray Lynn. I'm going to bring you just a quick video today. The Type 59 Legend. Now, a lot of people already know that you get this for free just for logging in to Armored Warfare uh, for this Christmas season. And as you can see, the uh, Christmas lights are up in the garage. It is a premium tank, so you don't have to worry about upgrading modules or any of that kind of stuff. And it gets all the same bonuses. Uh, and more or less a lot of people feel it's just kind of a jab at wargaming because of the videos and stuff that they uh, did about this tank. In my opinion, I think it's a pretty good tank uh, for a premium. It's a very well armored, uh, very good gun. Uh, overall, it's kind of a mix between the T-62 and the Object 155 with a little bit of Object 430 thrown in there. It's kind of just an all-around uh, better tank in some aspects, worse than others. So uh, let's jump into it. I've already pulled up uh, uh, the rest of the tanks here that you would get at Tier 3. This is a Tier 3 main battle tank. So let's uh, compare the stats here. The Type 59 Legend versus, let's say, the Object 155. Now, a lot of people may not have the Object 155. You got, uh, if you were in the Alpha Test, you got the Object 155 as a gift for just participating and helping out uh, test all the bugs and whatnot before the game went into open beta. So, not everyone's going to have this, uh, but that's okay. Uh, we'll go ahead and, for those that have it, just to give you a quick uh, comparison. Uh, damage of the type, uh, not as good. Uh, I mean, uh, you know, you can see why. Uh, Object 155 is Russian, so they generally do the most damage and have the most pin of most of any tank in the game. It holds up true here. Um, then we move down. Obviously, the DPM is lower because of that on the type, uh, but this is kind of a nice upgrade. The health on the tank, and you can actually see that the hit points are, say, in 1246 on the type, and only 990 on the object. That's a pretty significant difference. And uh, it also gains an extra retrofit slot. Most of the other Tier 3 premiums only get one slot. This gets two, and the second one it gets uh, allows you to increase the health. Even the base health, however, is about 1104 or so. So even with the boost, without the boost, you still have... Uh, an extra 300 health to play around with but with the boost you get almost 1300 health now you're closing in on more of a tier 4 tier 5 main battle tank uh, as far as health goes which for tier 3 is a pretty good amount i mean considering uh the armor on this thing uh object 155 uh much less armor on the frontal hull and the side and the rear is exactly the same uh, the turret is much, much weaker on the Object 155. 205 versus 240 in the front, 180 at the side versus 130 on the object, and 60 for both in the rear. Uh, the object is also a few kilometers slower, 48 versus 50. Uh, 0 to 32 kilometers is exactly the same at 9 seconds, so the acceleration is exactly the same. Gun depression, 6 degrees. Elevation, 4 degrees, the same. Uh, the turret traverse is slightly slower on the Object 155, but this is kind of the unusual thing, especially if you're thinking of the Type 59 from World of Tanks being a somewhat inaccurate gun. Here, the Type 59 has an accuracy of .07, which is very good for any kind of tank, really, and especially for a main battle tank, whereas it's .16 on the Object 155. As you know, Russian guns are notoriously inaccurate and uh, there's where the biggest difference is the aim the aim time is better on the object 155 at 2.29 seconds versus two and a half seconds it doesn't kill the tank because it is very accurate as long as you let it aim you're pretty much going to hit any shot you need to but since this is a main battle tank um you're you're generally going to be up close and personal anyway so that's against the Object 155. Let's take a look at the actual in-game uh, tech tree T62. Keep in mind these values are uh, at maximum once you've unlocked everything. This is maxed out. Uh, obviously because of that the damage, again being a Russian tank and penetration, are significantly better by about 110, 115 on uh, the damage and 20 or so penetration. 
So as, of course, the DPM goes up significantly on the T62, but it still has less health than the Type. Even without the boost and the retrofit, it still has about 100 less health, um, which isn't a, a big deal for this tier, but it, it does help you take a few more hits. Uh, the armor is significantly weaker, however, on the T-62. 100 millimeters on the front, 79 and, and the side, and 46 at the rear, versus the 135, 160 on the Type. So the hull on the T-62 is just butter. You don't want to give anyone shooting anything. Even autocannons can generally penetrate the front of your hull. Uh, the turret on the T-62 has 2 millimeters more in the front versus the types 240 uh, but it has significantly weaker side turret and rear turret on the t62 versus the 180 and 60 on the type um, the acceleration is the same uh, well the top speed is the same the acceleration is one second better on the t62 with because it gets an upgraded engine uh, vision is 40 meters better on the t62 the gun depression and elevation is the same the turret traverse is significantly almost double on the T-62 versus the Type. Reload time is a uh, second or so longer on the T-62. The accuracy is not too bad for a Russian tank at .11, but it's still worse than the .07. And the aim time is slightly faster at 2.43 versus 2.5 on the Type. Moving along, the Object 430, you can get this on... The website, if uh, you want to get the ICE version of the Object 430, uh, it just released with the new patch, 0 0.12. But this is a pretty hardy tank, the Object 430. Uh, if you want to know, let's see, we got the damage, uh, it's slightly more. The pin, slightly more, again, Russian tank. The damage per minute is actually barely more, and you'll know why here in a minute. Uh, the health, significantly less than the type. Uh, the armor on the hull is actually very weak compared to the type, but it does have stronger front and side and rear turret armor by 8 millimeters there, by 5 millimeters on the side, and 5 millimeters at the rear. But give or take, uh, I mean, more is always better, but uh, not sure if it's worth the gun performance on the Object 430. Uh, the Object 430 has uh, nearly 6 kilometers an hour better top speed, and it gets to 32 kilometers an hour slightly faster uh, by half a second. The vision range is the same, gun depression is the same, elevation is worse, the turret traverse is much slower, the reload time is just barely slower at 0.16 seconds, uh, the accuracy spread is kind of bad at 0.16, and the aim time is worse at nearly 3 seconds. And keep in mind the Object 430, I have already got it as decked out as I can get it. It is a premium tank, so it's not getting any extra uh, re retrofit slots. It only comes with one, um, and it's got a maxed out crew and all that. So even with all these advantages, the gun performance on the Object 430 is still the worst part about the tank. It's got a little speed, it's got a little armor, but compared to the Type 59's gun, it's really, really bad. Uh, and that, in a nutshell, is the Type 59 Legend. Um, I'll quickly go over the commander and stuff that I put on mine. Again, Maximilian. It's a premium tank, so I love taking Max out and about. Uh, pretty standard off-road driving. Uh, the acceleration is good on, on this tank. Uh, might as well make it better. The whole traverse speed is still slow. Uh, it's more or less uh, got a slightly worse engine than the, uh, the T-62 since it doesn't get an upgraded engine. And so you might as well speed it up. Uh, quick draw aim speed. Aim speed isn't bad, but it's still slow compared to most other uh, heavy tanks. So go ahead and aim, uh, get that better at t by 10%. Marksman, the peak accuracy. I'm thinking of probably changing this. Uh, your personal preference is uh, the other choice that I would go with would be shoot from the hip. Since this gun is extremely accurate already at maximum accuracy, I, I may uh, go ahead and, and switch it to shoot from the hip because it, the, the aim time, while it's not too slow, it's not too fast either. So you might be doing a lot of driving and trying to do snapshots. Might as well get the, the biggest bloom, the worst accuracy, 
uh, by 20 percent uh, rather than marksman but that's personal choice um, this tank is very accurate for a main battle tank uh, rapid fire reload time everybody loves to shoot things faster uh, the reload time on this is already six seconds uh, so you might as well get it down a little bit more uh, preparation I take for the ammo swap speed I'm, I am loading heat because at tier three and four and generally five I, I tend to load more heat so but you know there are tanks that maybe I uh, need to switch to AP this just increases the ammo swap speed uh, you might be able to take uh, explosive shells if you want to do more module damage. You could take secured ammunition if you're worried about your ammo rack. Again, I PVE, so these kind of things are not necessarily a problem for me. So use your best judgment. Um, as you saw with my loadout right here, I take 30 heat, 20 AP. Uh, the damage and penetration are okay for Tier 3. Uh, I take more heat at the lower tiers because there's just so few tanks that have a way to defeat it. I just shoot heat at everything at the low tiers. Consumables, as always, I always in PvE, this is a low tier field maintenance kit. It gives you 20% of your health back, reloads all of your ammunition in your vehicle. So if you do take too much damage and you do need some health, or you're running low on ammunition, one click of the button and it's back. I also take the more expensive spare parts, energy drink, and medical kit. Uh, the spare parts give you a, a repair speed boost by 10%. If somebody blows your tracks off, does any kind of module damage, you'll repair it a little bit quicker. If you could take a hit by some artillery, you might lose two or three modules or more in one shot. So this will put them all back at, at once. You don't have to worry about picking and choosing. The medical kit is the same thing. Uh, only with, to do with your crew. If several of your crew get killed, this will put them all back in at once. It also makes them harder to kill by 15%, which is just a passive boost that's really nice to have. I've rarely ever lost a crew member between using uh, Maximilian as my commander and taking uh, the upgraded medical kit. Um, your choice, of course, you can take the normal med or repair kit and first aid kit, and instead of the energy drink, which gives you your, all of your crew a 5% boost uh, for each battle, because it is fairly expensive at 20,000 credits per game, you can take the fire extinguisher or the automatic fire extinguisher. Uh, fires in this game, very rare. Uh, like I said, again, I play PvE almost exclusively. I don't catch on fire very much. So I go with the energy drink just to make everything uh, a little bit better on the reload and offer driving. All of those skills get a small boost every game. Retrofits on this tank. Uh, of course, I go down the Russian line. So I have access to the Mark III uh, propellant to increase the damage by 7.5%. The damage on the type isn't as high as the uh, the Russian tanks, uh, but it is more accurate, so you're going to hit a lot more shots. Might as well make those shots do as much damage as they can. Uh, this just helps in that department, and uh, that's what I go with since you only get one. Uh, this is universal slot, and then you get an armor slot. And in the armor slot, you can put anything you want here, but I just go for pure health. Uh... I mean, it's a 9.38% boost to my health, which puts the health, like I just showed you, over 1,200, which is great in PvE. Uh, the more hits you can take, the longer you can stay on the battlefield shooting and getting damage and getting reputation and credits and everything else. Uh, you're just a very hard tank to kill. You don't have the most armor. The Object 430 has a little bit better armor than you do, but for the slight dip in the armor compared to the Object 430, you get an amazing gun good DPM and good mobility especially for a main battle tank this thing is a legend and I think for a free gift it is an amazing tank and uh, just to show you how amazing let's uh, check out some gameplay see you on the battlefield and we got the anvil map for one of the first few games I played in the type 59 uh, obviously, everyone is uh, trying it out, as you can see by the team list. Uh, four Type 59s and a BMP-1. Uh, we were joking there at the start uh, that he was invited to the wrong party, but that's okay. Uh, as you can see, the speed and the acceleration isn't quite uh, Object 430, but it is uh, 
not too horrible. Uh, quickly got up to 30 kilometers an hour without much trouble, even though this is a, a dirt road. And the off-road driving kicking in a little. Uh, since uh, patch 0.12 has come out, uh, they've gotten better at randomizing where the enemy tanks spawn, so it's not the same on every map, at least as far as I've seen so far. Uh, but I had not uh, done this map yet, and so I wasn't sure if, uh, how random the spawns were going to go. Aiming for the lower plate of the T-54 there. Uh, the heat has more than enough penetration to go through it. Uh, as you can see, I'm just tearing him up. Uh, the rate of fire on this is pretty good. The DPM is pretty good, and the accuracy is really good. And he was about 200 meters. I had no problem uh, hitting this weak lower plate. Uh, but I probably could have went through his upper plate too. It is only a T-54. A uh, little tip, you can run over objectives like that, uh, just like you just saw me run over that howitzer, and you don't have to worry about wasting ammunition on it. Uh, Patton 48, troll turret there, hit the side, uh, must have hit an odd angle. Heat doesn't like odd angles, and uh, it didn't go through at all. Uh, so I decided just to close the gap, because... Uh, I might as well <laughs> put my accuracy into a little bit better use. I'm trying to uh, feather my, my shot there a little bit just so that uh, I don't get the mega bloom by moving too much. You can actually keep your accuracy pretty tight if you only move in small increments and let your uh, bloom calm down between shots. Uh, just something that I, I've tried to do. Try to fire on the move there. Total whiff way wide and up and to the left. Uh, Gunner must have been drinking a little. But uh, most tanks in this game, it's all down to RNG when you're just firing on the move anyway, even if you have a lot of uh, crew perks to help out with it. Uh, we're kind of just rolling through this map pretty good. It is only on medium difficulty. Uh, tier 3s and 4s cannot uh, go into hard mode uh, anymore. You used to be able to at least get a tier 4 in there, but definitely not tier 3s. And since I've got it like a, a decked out crew with uh, all the retrofits that a new player probably wouldn't have on their tier three, uh, I'm doing a lot better in this tank than you probably would normally. So if you're just starting out and you're not wrecking stuff quite the same as me or any of the other types, it's not a big deal. You'll get there. Uh, ooh, a T62. So now it's uh, my my arch nemesis tier three, and we'll see how long he holds up with the firepower that I'm bringing. Don't even have to aim. Two shots. He is down for the count. Uh, Patton. Thought I might be able to shoot through that gas pump. Uh, heat doesn't like going through anything, even if it's a fence, even if it's a chain link fence, or maybe even if it's a bush. Sometimes it just says nope. And, of course, uh, it's not going to go through a gas pump and do much of anything other than explode. Uh, as I mentioned, this uh, the gun depression on this tank it's only uh, six so if you're coming from world of tanks where it's a little bit better than six uh, you might be disappointed but it is still more than most Russian tanks have outside of the T-80 and the T-90 MS but uh, it, it gets the job done and you've got the frontal armor to kind of poke up over ridges and uh, do a little bit of ridge fighting because you do have more armor in the front and especially on the hull than any of the other tier 3 premiums so you're not quite as vulnerable with your gun depression. Uh, again, I try to fire on the move just to close the distance and uh, take down this scorpion. Uh, they, they also have some troll armory, so I bounced uh, from the uh, M41 over there. I did take some damage because the scorpion only fires uh, high explosives, so it's going to do a little damage regardless. <laughs> the M41 Walker Bulldog just ate it pretty hard. Uh, turning your side to anybody is generally a mistake. I decided I was going to go after the Patton because they, he is a uh, tough tank for this tier. But then the Walker Bulldog decided to... Now was the perfect time for him to spawn. And I bounced a couple of his shots and take him down pretty good. Uh, the 48 decides he doesn't like to live. So he eats one in this surprise butt sex region. So they haven't messed with the spawns a whole awful lot here. Uh, we got a leopard, it looks like, spawned. And he seems confused on what his orders are. He's not uh, engaging us yet. Uh, now he's starting to think about it. Looks like he fired and he missed. Now he's starting to angle his armor, but that doesn't matter. Because he's got a very soft lower plate, and I can hit it 
with the good accuracy on the Type 59's gun. Oh, it's the scramble, the mad scramble for the final enemy. Everyone seems to be scared. I'm not sure why. We're all pretty much, except for the BMP, on full health. So I just kind of take a chance. He takes a hit. Finally, on the move shot goes where I want it to go. And it's a victory. Um, pretty easy map, actually. And I did pretty well. Uh, 6,400 reputation, 68,000 credits. About 5,500 damage. Bounced about 360 or 70 damage. Not a whole lot, but at tier 2s and 3s don't do that much damage to you. And that is the Type 59 Legend. Uh, Obsidian's gift to us for Christmas. It's a very good tier 3 premium main battle tank. I think it's much better than the Object 155 and the Object 430. And it's even better, in my opinion, than the T-62 uh, main battle tank that you get just normally grinding through the Russian tank line. Um, I can't see anyone not wanting to log in and grab the Type 59 Legend as it is a very good tank. And that is pretty much it. I hope this video has helped you guys. Uh, if you liked it, please uh, hit that like button down below and subscribe for more updates as I'll be putting out much more Armored Warfare content in the coming weeks. And that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care out there, and I'll talk to you next time.